The second part of this question asks us how long will it take the ball to reach its maximum height? Okay, so let's look at the information that we're given. We have just calculated change in displacement as uh, the maximum height 3,27 meters. Okay, and now the question is how long does this journey take? In other words, delta t. Now, since we have four of the five variables, most of the um, formulas will work as long as they contain delta t. However, I'm rather not going to use one with delta x in because I might have made a mistake in my previous question. So looking for future velocity, acceleration, initial velocity, and delta t, then you'll notice that this is a very common formula to use for the time it takes to reach the maximum height. Okay. So let's go and do that. We have that future um, velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times delta t. Future velocity we know is zero because that's where it reaches its maximum height. Initial velocity was given as 8 meters per second. Acceleration because it's downward is negative 9.8 and delta t is what we're trying to calculate. Now from here on all we need to do is add, sorry, subtract 8 on both sides. Okay, so subtracting 8 on both sides gives me that negative 8 is equal to negative 9,8 times delta t. Solving delta t gives me, a, uh, well, means I'll have to divide with the negative 9.8 on both sides. I don't like working with negatives, so I'm just going to cancel those negatives right off. And then to solve delta t, all I need to do, since these two cancel, I have delta t on its own, I need to take 8 divided by 9.8. Obviously, using my calculator, I see that 8 divided by 9.8 equals... 0, 0,816 that means it's going to be 0, 0,816 will be 82 seconds just under a second it will take to reach its maximum height not very long